Hey, welcome to Mindfulness for Real Estate Professionals. My name is Aaron Hinden, and I am going to be leading this course with you. Let me give you a little bit of my background so you know who you're talking with, okay? Who you're working with for the next 10 weeks or so. Let's see. I have... Uh, I am currently the managing broker of a real estate team here in Seattle, Washington with eXp. I have uh, been in real estate for 11 years, top performing agent in real estate here in Seattle. Um, before that, I was in uh, transformational leadership coaching. Okay, I still am actually. Uh, I've coached over 10,000 people in transformational leadership. Before that, I owned a bakery and a bakery for 10 years in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So I've been an entrepreneur. Um, I have been meditating since I'm about 20. I'm 61 now, so about 40 years, 41 years of meditating. Uh, I am a certified mindfulness instructor, and it's a real pleasure for me to be able to do this. You know, uh, my backstory here, how I got to be able to do this is um, I, uh, well, let's go all the way back, okay? I'm originally from New York. I am the quintessential nice Jewish boy from New York, Okay. And if you know anything about my people, then you know that worrying is sort of baked into the DNA, okay? My family motto was things are never so bad, they can't get worse. And that's the way I live my life. I, I, I could have five deals in escrow and two listings and three buyers, and I would still be worried about where my next deal was coming from. It didn't matter. Didn't, circumstances were not, not relevant to the degree of worry that I could have. And I noticed sometime, not in the too distant past, that I wasn't worried anymore. I was like, well, that's wild. It was this wild experience for myself. And I thought, well, what happened? Because if you notice, 2023 gave us plenty to worry about. I don't know if your dad ever said, you want me to give you something to cry about? I'll give you something to cry about. Mine did. 2023 seemed to say, you want something to worry about? I'll give you something to worry about. And that's the way that was in 2023. So I got more serious with my mindfulness practice. I started reliably practicing mindfulness, just 10, 15 minutes a day, but doing it every day. And in a very short period of time, I had stopped worrying. And I thought, that's wild. I should give this away to other real estate professionals. You know, I don't get paid to do this. This is just because I, this was wild for me. And I know the business we're in, we're in a stressful business. We're stressed. Our clients are stressed. This is the most expensive, least performed, most complex transaction of their life. They're stressed. We are in an eat what you kill kind of business. You know, there's no, I know there's no safety net for us. So this is a big deal to actually be able to do that freely, you know, to give up worrying and be free in the job, no matter what the circumstances were. And I thought I should give this away. Okay. And that's, how I got here. And I hope that's what you got here for, because the benefits of mindfulness are enormous. You know, every coach in our industry talks about you need an empowering mindset. You can't log into Facebook or Instagram or anywhere and not see pithy little slogans, gratitude's the best attitude and all that stuff. But not one coach talks about how you get an empowering mindset in the market we're in, the kind of circumstances that we deal with. No one talks about how, and mindfulness is how. I don't, it's the simplest way to say it. This is how. You do this, you'll get that. Just like going to the gym. If you go to the gym and you lift the weights and you move your body, your body will transform. It's not complicated and it's not magic. You do the work, you get the results. Spend 15 minutes a day doing this, you'll get the results. Okay, there's just no one's talking about it. And it made me a little bit nuts. Okay, so I wanted to give people the opportunity to really develop an empowering mindset. You're talking about reducing stress with mindfulness, effective management of the stress of the stressors, be able to manage other people's stress, our client relationships get better, you eliminate that whole world of commission breath, agent to agent relationships get better. You improve your communication, your productivity, more than anything, you're present in life. You know, we're in a 24-7 on-call kind of business. And those rare agents that say, I don't work weekends are just that. They're rare. Uh, I'm on call 24-7. The client calls, I, I pay attention. So it's really a big deal because 
look, no one goes to their deathbed and thinks, oh, I wish I had closed three more deals. No one thinks that. Except if you go to a conference or you get online or you look for training in real estate, all we get trained in is how to do three more deals. And I, I'm not against doing three more deals a month. I love doing three more deals a month. I just don't want to have to sacrifice anything to get it. And I don't think it's the most important thing in my life. Except no one's talking about this. So here we are. Okay. Let's just take a second, take a step back because part of why people don't talk about this. Well, frankly, people don't talk about it because in a very real way, mindfulness is boring and it's slow and it's not easy. And if a coach came to you and said, hey, I have a solution to your problem, but it's boring, slow and not easy, you wouldn't buy it. We buy things that are shiny, that are fast, that are quick. That's why they keep selling us that stuff because we keep buying it. Everyone wants to put five more deals in their pipeline with no cold calling, everyone. So they sell products like that, but we know those products don't work. I don't know what else to say about it. They don't really always work, okay? Or they rarely work, that's probably the truth, okay? This works reliably, just like going to the gym works reliably, but we have to bust a couple of myths to be able to get there, okay? A couple of myths around mindfulness, so let's just talk about it for a second. There are common misconceptions. I don't have enough time to do it. Okay, it's 15 minutes a day. If you don't have 15 minutes a day and you're committed, your foot is nailed to the floor that you don't have 15 minutes a day, stop watching. You're not gonna be able to do this. I don't know what else to say. It takes 15 minutes a day, okay? It's also sort of a common thing to think about meditation is for hippies or for monks, like you're gonna sell all your things and move to Tibet. No, neither of those things are accurate. I mean, Buddhist monks in Tibet meditate and hippies meditate, but that's it's not just for them. In fact, I don't know if you know who Tim Ferriss is. Tim Ferriss wrote the 40-hour work week, the four-hour work week, the 40-hour work week, not much of a book there, four-hour work week. And he also wrote a book called uh, Tools of Titans, which in which he interviewed high performers, billionaires, world-class athletes, high-performing people all over the world, hundreds of people he interviewed to get what do they do? What are, their, what are the common traits? What are the common practices that these people have? And he said 80%, the most common, the most common practice that all of them shared, no matter where they were, was mindfulness. Okay, 80% of billionaires practice mindfulness. Maybe there's something there. Maybe it's not a hippie thing, okay? Um, there's also a misconception or a thought like I can't be mindful. I can't meditate because I can't empty my brain of thoughts. My brain is going all the time. Ay, that is just not what meditation is. Nobody empties their thoughts. I mean that. I mean, there's no Buddhist monk in the world. Right? The people that have been doing it since they were, none of them empty their mind of thoughts. That's not what meditation is. I'll get you into what it is, but it's not that. Mindfulness is an evidence-based practice rooted in ancient practices. Okay, so this is a 2,500-year history of practicing meditation to demonstrate that it works. This isn't some new age, hey, try this, we just invented this. No, no, 2,500 years of history show this is effective. And starting sometime around the 70s, institutions started tracking this, Harvard, Stanford, MIT, Psychology Today, all started measuring mindfulness practices. A gentleman by the name of John Kabat-Zinn invented something he called mindfulness-based stress reduction, MBSR is what it's known as in the industry, to demonstrate that in businesses, in uh, world-class operations, Google, Aetna, uh, uh, um, count, Boeing, countless, countless five, Fortune 500 companies have instituted mindfulness practices and have demonstrated their effectiveness in decreasing stress, increasing productivity, increasing sales. This works. There is an enormous amount of evidence for this. And in this training, we're going to go through the basics, the foundational practices that are required for you to get those kind of results. We're going to work on mindful breathing. We're going to work on body scan techniques, mindful listening, mindful communication, uh, self-compassion. How many people are hard on themselves? Hello, that's me. 
right? I have a PhD in beating myself up. Okay, this is a path out of that entire world. We're going to work together on how to integrate these into your daily routines so that both your work and personal life get impacted. That is both your real estate transactions, not only do the, the number of them go up, the quality of them go up. Your experience of them gets better. Your client's experience of you gets better. Your client's experience of themselves get better. Okay, your family interactions get better. You know, we talked about deathbed scenarios. What people really want is to be connected to other people and to know that they are loved and to and have the people in their life know that they love them. Okay, that's what this does. This series is conducted in a series of videos. So there'll be an introductory video before every meditation. And then there'll be a video of the meditation. You should watch the introductory video and then practice the meditation for a week. You can't binge this. You can't just watch them all at once and then do it. No, you need to practice each meditation for about a week. And then after the course, you pick the ones you like the best and then practice those ongoingly. Like going to the gym, you don't get to the gym for a period of time and then think, okay, now I'm done. I've worked out. I did it. No, no. It's like every day you got to, this is an ongoing practice forever. 15 minutes a day. You brush your teeth twice a day. You sit for 10 minutes quietly a day. And, you know, there was a time where people went to the gym and you think the only people that go to the gym are like people that want to be like Arnold. All right. Well, that's not the case now. Going to the gym has been normalized. People and it's been expanded to all sorts of different things, spin classes, yoga classes, all sorts of different ways to keep your body in shape. And that's sort of now completely accepted and normalized, and no one thinks it's weird. Mindfulness is like that. Okay. You're just gonna normalize working your brain out in a way that your brain gets optimized because. If you're going to think about an organ that's most directly connected to the quality of your life, you'd have to raise your hand and say it's your brain, right? So there are video meditations that you can practice, guided meditations that I'm going to lead for you that you can practice week to week. And then there's a journal. You can download the journal and you, there's a little bit of writing. So it's a 10 minute meditation and maybe five minutes of writing a day. 15 minutes a day is what you're committing to. 10 minutes of meditation, five minutes of reflection. And that's the entire deal. You do that for a week, okay? And then you get to the next video. You don't have to worry about anything else, okay? It's, I'm available to you for any questions, any encouragement, any support, anything you need. I'm not hard to get a hold of. I'm, you can just comment here in the thread and I'll get back to you. I'm completely committed for, to your success in this. And I am clear, if you do the work, you will get the results because that's the way the brain works. That's not personal to you. If you lift the weights, you build the muscles. If you sit for 5, 10 minutes a day and reflect for five minutes, you'll get these results. I promise. That's how it works. Okay. So with that, download the workbook, go over to the breath video, the bre introduction for breath, the first video, practice the breath meditations for a week then come back and do the next one, practice those for a week and on and on and on. And that's how we're going to work together. All right. Questions, concerns, anything like that, reach out, happy to help. And I'll see you over in the breath video.